This is not just a house, it's a museum. Let's go check out what's inside. Hey folks, David aka RV Jedi. If you like what you're seeing, make sure you click and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click that bell so you're alerted anytime a new video comes out. We are taking a tour of the Stephen Foster Museum here in White Springs, Florida uh, wrote some of the all-time classic songs of uh, years gone by. Uh, it's an interesting building. Uh, it looks like it's a former plantation. Let's go ahead and take a tour of uh, the building and show you a little bit more about Stephen Foster. Foster was born in Pittsburgh in 1826 and actually never came to Florida. He was one of nine children and in 1850 he married Jane McDowell. They had a daughter Marion. Throughout his career, Foster wrote more than 200 songs. Self-taught on several different instruments, Foster was known as America's first fully professional songwriter. Foster died as a result of a fever in 1864 at the age of 37 with 38 cents in his pocket and a scrap of paper that read, Dear Friends and Gentle Hearts. The museum is very interesting. A lot of dioramas here uh, from some of uh, Stephen Foster's most famous songs. Um, it's with mixed emotions and feelings that I'm checking this place out because a lot of his music came during slavery, um, but still it's a part of history. It's a part of the Florida history, in particular this building, um, because it's dedicated to him and you can see some of his artifacts and some of the things that he used to actually write some of his songs with. So if you get a chance, it's pretty easy to come in and, and just walk it on Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, they have guided tours, uh, but you can walk through here and do the tour on your own. Um, I, I think you'll find it interesting. Right across from the museum is the Stephen Foster Memorial Carolyn Tower, which took 20 years of planning to construct. The tower, which is 200 feet high, was completed in 1957 at a cost of nearly a half a million dollars. Now, the 97 Bell Carolyn is one of the biggest instruments produced in the West at a cost of $120,000. There are three sets of 32 bells, the scale range of C to G, chromatic, plus a fourth high G bell. It was built to honor Foster's song, Old Folks at Home, which is the Florida State song, a really cool piece of history in the building, a copy of the original manuscript of Old Folks at Home. And you can hear it played throughout the day at various times at the park. Here's an interesting did you know moment. Old Folks at Home, well that's the original title of the song you may know as Way Down Upon the Swanee River. So that's the tour of the museum. It's uh, pretty easy to go in and out and check everything out. Um, interesting tour, a lot of information to learn. Uh, some of the all-time classic songs that you've heard uh, probably growing up, all, um, all showcased here uh, in the Stephen Foster Museum. Hope you liked it. A reminder, make sure you follow me on all social media at RV Jedi. And then of course you can follow me on my blog at rvjedi.com. Get out there, RV, enjoy and explore wherever you're at.